it's a good day. I've been to Bunnings. I've got exactly what I need. I've got the lights, the leads, and the transformer. I am ready to go. Now, I can understand if you're not a big DIYer, you might be a little bit apprehensive, but don't worry. I'll show you how simple it is to install. It's simply A into B and then repeat it. Now, the first thing you need to do is work out where your power supply is coming from. You don't necessarily have to plug it in now, but you need to know which direction you're running around your garden. This is the transformer, and it's as simple as plugging that into a power point. Now, off the transformer, you've got a photo cell. On here, it says input from power supply. So that comes off the transformer and goes out to the lights. It can't go any other direction because that's the only way it'll fit. So you can't get it wrong. Now it's got a light sensor, so it can turn on at dusk and turn off at dawn without even you thinking about it. But it's also Bluetooth compatible, which means you can sit inside on the coldest, windiest, rainy night, and if you hear something, you can turn the lights on with the app on your phone. Imagine the fun you could have turning the lights off on the kids when they're outside playing in the middle of summer. Now off this, you can run different leads. They come in lengths of two, five, and 10 meters. So say your first light is 10 meters away from your transformer, you get the 10 meter lead. You can actually extend them and make it longer if you want. But the good thing about the twos and fives is you're not wasting meters and meters of cable and wasting money at the same time. Now what I'm thinking is running bollards straight down the back of this wall. That'll give a beautiful glow over the limestone and a beautiful glow over the bottom of the plant. And then interspersed in between with spotlights that'll come up and hit the foliage. Now, if you're worried about spacing them out, you can use a tape measure. But if you've got basic blocks like this, sleepers or bricks, just start counting. I think a bollard every sort of two and a half slabs would look spectacular. And you can put up to 15 lights and run at 75 metres. Now, this is a big backyard. 75 metres is going to go a long way. This garden is going to absolutely shine at night. And people will be asking, how does your garden glow? Within a matter of minutes, I've already put four lights in. Now your bollards come in a little box, you've got your spike which screws into the bottom like so. I don't need to pick its location yet, but what I need to use is one of these T-joints. Now I pick up the power that's running through, male into female. I screw it on. Now I've got two exit points for my power. The one that goes to the side is the one that goes to the light that I'm fitting. Screw that one on. Pick up my next lead. Put it on. Everything sealed and watertight. Hide that down there. Find this little bad boy at home. Move on to the next one. I can't wait for it to get dark. So if you followed the steps, the lights are in the right spot, you've used all the correct cables and tees, you've got your light sensor and your transformer set up, and now you're back to the start where you're going to put the power in. So just a simple outdoor weather port, and ladies and gentlemen, we have power. Now this power's at the back of the shed, it's not the most convenient spot, but I can show you how to make it even more fun. So don't worry about where your power source is, all the power is in my phone with the app. It's got a Bluetooth setting, so you could be sitting anywhere on your property, you can turn the lights off. Turn them on, off, on, off, on, off, on. How good's that? Now there's three ways you can turn it on, even just using the app. I can go on and off using my thumb simply there. I can set it for auto, so it'll turn on at dusk, turn off at dawn or I can set the timer. So for instance, on a Sunday, I can set the time here and go, let's say 7 p.m. Thank you very much. And we will turn it off at 10 p.m. Thank you very much. You can do that for each day of the week. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, because I'm going to enjoy this. Off, on, off, on. Off, on. I think I just did Morse code for I'm having fun. Off, on, on. Off, on.